You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark and more specifically a WNBA star. Now, this is a star of the WNBA that has come out and has now decided to tell fans, new WNBA fans, <laughs> that if they don't like the physicality of their league to go away, to stop watching, to go and watch golf. All right, now keep that in mind. This is the league that begged people to be interested in their league for the last 25 years a league that would have long since been out of business, out of order, out of there, see ya, goodbye, don't want to hear back from you, had it not been for the financial stimulation of the NBA, the men's league. Uh, they've been propped up by Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and all these other stars all these years in men's basketball. And of course, there was a lot of controversy around the Angel Reese Kennedy Carter fiasco that happened involving Kalen Now, look, nobody's acting like pro basketball is not going to be physical. But to be honest, if the WNBA truly is about female basketball players running up behind another one, calling them a bitch, and then forearm shivering them what hip checking them to the ground if that's what your league is about then yeah people will probably go back away and it's amazing these stars want to make all this money and before we even jump in here this is last year's this is a press release of the WNBA bragging about ratings and viewership get this 627,000 viewers on ABC. A average of 505,000 viewers across all platforms. ESPN, ESPN2, and ABC, and CBS Television Network. 505,000 viewers. Uh, Caitlin Clark, that Angel Reads Caitlin Clark game drew over 1.5 million. Kaylee Clark has the four, I think the top five most watched games this season. Okay, now we're talking 1.5 million versus 505,000. That is tripling your, your television viewership. Look at this attendance. Dallas Wings, which is who this player plays for, 6,919 uh, attended fans any Indiana Fever game 15,886 Dallas Wings they had a high of 10,340 the Indiana Fever had a high of 19,103 fans I cannot believe the stupidity by these WNBA players and yes, does it feel different? It's not just physical? Yeah, because we've sat back for weeks and weeks and weeks discussing all these different players that have came, came out hating on Caitlin Clark, including bringing up race in the equation. You can blatantly see there is true hate from these players. All you got to do is see the reaction from last Saturday. And this Dallas Wings player, Ariki... Abu Wally is coming out and telling people, if you don't like the way this league looks right now, go away. Wow. I mean, you got to wonder, where's the commissioner on this? I'd love to know her opinion. Should all the new fans that have tripled and in some cases quadrupled viewership and doubled attendance across the league, at least in games Caitlin Clark's in, should they just go away now? Anyone offended by the WNBA's physicality is welcome to tune in to PGA Tour, says Dallas Wing star Arike Abubawale. 
Like, it's going to be physical. So if you don't want to watch this, go watch golf or something else. She said after the Dallas Wings lost to the L.A. Uh, to the Las Vegas Aces on Wednesday night. I don't know how long you've been around the WNBA, but it's been like this since my rookie year, she told Dallas sports writer Isaac Alpet. I mean, obviously, that's what I've been able to go against, and but I've seen it since I've been watching the WNBA when I was young. Literally nothing new, she continued. Like, you get fouled, that's what it is. The men get fouled. I don't see people saying, oh, why did they do this? It's basketball. It's going to get physical. We're going to, going to compete. Some people might get knocked down. Some people bleed, and that's basketball. That's wild. That's wild because you've got ex-players from this league saying, no, nah, this ain't what it is. It's no different man or woman, so nothing's a surprise. I fall on the floor. Glory to God, I get back up. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do. And that's just basketball. That is crazy. You've now got players in the league coming right out and telling fans to go away and to watch something else. These players have been traveling overseas to supplement their income. Their cash cow walks in the door, their golden goose, and they're now so bitter and so jealous, they're literally telling fans to disappear, the new fans to go away. The answer has led to an inevitable discussion about the coverage of the WNBA in the media, much of which is new to the NBA's sister league. They're not even used to being covered. I mean, ESPN has has from time to time tried to prop them up. But nobody would care if Caitlin Clark wasn't in this league. I don't really talk about the media, but it just kind of annoys me how they make such a big deal about the physicality because, I mean, obviously the new people, they might be like, oh, this is tough, but this is just what it's been. It's basketball, like I said. It's not women being catty. It's not this. It's basketball. So the narrative has to stop of people doing this or doing that, like it's going to be physical, so if you don't want to watch this, go watch golf or something else. Wow. I mean, literally, wow. The New York Liberty right here, it says, had the largest gate in WNBA history. That was a Caitlin Clark game. They made $2 million bucks in one game. I, I, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. These women want this league to go under. I mean, it's crazy. I I, I have never seen anything like this. This league has got no attention. And these women are so angry, so bitter, so jealous that they're willing to keep making their $76,000 a year or whatever their salary is. Again, yes, basketball is physical. But we know from the laundry list of comments from various WNBA stars, yes, they are bitter. They don't like the attention because it's for Caitlin Clark. The girl is white. She is straight. And is everything, for the most part, their league has not been about. It has brought in viewers from Middle America and the Bible Belt. They evidently don't like that either. Evidently, they don't like these people's money either. I said before, I'll say it again. If I'm the commissioner, I'm on a Zoom call and every player across the league is in a meeting all at one time. And I'm like, look, guys, we have a golden opportunity here. But perception is reality. Look, if none of this other hate had happened towards Caitlin Clark over the last two months, if none of it had happened, and there wasn't people talking about, yeah, the popularity's tied to her being white, yada, yada, yada. If there wasn't none of that, 
And Caitlin Clark was just and and if Caitlin Clark would have just been hard fouled the other day, nobody would be saying anything. But you had a player run up behind her, call her a bitch, and blast her to the ground. If you think that makes your league look great, no, it doesn't. Especially when X players are coming out and saying, no, this looks and feels different. That's not part of basketball. NBA and WNBA players. Wow, you got players in the league, star ones, now telling you, go watch something else. And you know what? People will start doing that. They'll be like, you know what? You're right. I will go watch something else. Go out of business or keep... I guess they are fine riding the NBA's coattails. Wow. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.